What's happening, everyone? Welcome back. It's the Beast Bailey back again on the video. Uh, we're sitting here watching Georgia and Auburn, the Deep South's oldest rivalry. Uh, Deep South's oldest rivalry? Well, <coughs> I guess it's a rivalry game. Why it's close? Not close, but Georgia up seven. Nothing they just scored. Up 7 nothing with 11.42 left in the second quarter. Uh, Georgia's defense is playing phenomenal. They're playing like they should. Robbie Ashford, uh, not a whole lot going. Tank Bigsby, Tank Bigsby not a whole lot going for him. <clears throat> Auburn, a 3-2 team. Georgia, 5-0, number two in the country. Georgia's offense is um, – Georgia's offense is so vanilla that – I, I'm trying my best to enjoy this game by just watching the game, but I cannot take it away. I keep thinking of the month of November, and I see three losses coming on our schedule, and it's just it's 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 a train uh, it's a train wreck that is inevitable. Georgia is going to lose to Tennessee and Mississippi State. If they keep playing like this, um, we could beat Auburn all day long, beat Vandy all day long, maybe beat Florida. Should beat Florida. Florida's kind of inept. Beat them, and uh, we'll be sitting at uh, what seven? We'll be sitting at eight and zero. Oh. We sitting at eight and zero oh going into November, and so we'll probably, we might be number one again. Might still be two. Who knows? Um, if we survive Vandy, Auburn, and, and Florida, we got Tennessee, Kentucky, Mississippi State, and Georgia Tech. Um, not in that order, but we have those four teams. We're going to beat Georgia Tech. But those three games between Kentucky, Mississippi State, and Tennessee, Georgia is not going to survive that three-game stretch. I I'm sorry. It this offense is so boring and so bad. How uh, – this defense is so good, and, and Georgia's defense has been so good for a, a while. This – Right now, Georgia is playing like they did in 2019. And y'all remember that 2019 offense? We averaged like 27 points a game, 25 points a game. But Georgia had a terrible average. But they had like a top 10, def top five defense that year. <clears throat> we won a bunch of low-scoring games. Georgia, I mean, Georgia, I don't know, guys. I just can't, I can't break my mind off that month of November. I guess I just got to just try to avoid it, you know, just – and I try to uh, – we almost peaked it off there, a little wild pass from Robbie Ashford there. Uh, could have been picked. Um, I don't know, man. Let's see what he does here. It's a wobbly throw, come a jump ball. Guy just – it bounces off an Auburn offensive lineman's helmet. And if a Georgia player was standing there, he would have caught that. But – it's okay. It's all right. Uh, 10 57, third and 12 for Auburn. Right, this offense, man, Lad McConkey dropped another punt. He did get it, but he dropped another punt. I mean, it's just like nobody is just holding on uh, Dumas Johnson there. Robbie Ashford throws a wobble ball out of bounds. Robbie Ashford has thrown maybe six passes out of bounds because he's just getting – Robbie, look – Auburn's offense, the way they're going, right? Auburn ain't going to score a point the way they're going. Now, Auburn will get a point. I think Auburn will come out in the second half and probably have a little – Auburn's going to change it. They might go to their other quarterback. I mean, they got other quarterbacks. Robbie Ashford isn't doing anything right now. And it's fourth and 12, Auburn punting. Let's hope uh, hope McConkey catches this ball. McConkey, I think, out there. He caught it. Oh, McConkey on his legs. He he broke. Oh, 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 he's still going. McConkey's still going. 50, 40. Oh, McConkey to the 30. My man McConkey. Ooh. That is the best punt return we've had all year. Uh, I think McConkey brought it like a 40 yard return right there. My man McConkey broke one man's ankles right there. Scoop got around him. That's a good play. Another missed tackle. Oh, up block. Good block. Okay. I thought he fumbled the ball right here. I thought he fumbled the ball. I got kind of worried. I ain't gonna lie. That's a good play. Uh best best punt return all year. Maybe that give us some momentum. Georgia's only touchdown though it came off. Auburn tried to do a fake punt inside their own like 40. 
what? Brian Harson? But they didn't get it, and uh, that's how I got the touchdown. So Georgia is at their own 30, uh, their own Auburn's 30, or on 30, whatever it is. And uh, let's see what happens here. Hand it off to my boy Dejon. Oh, that's Branson Robinson. Branson Robinson. Ooh. Branson. The best running backs on this team is Branson Robinson and Dejon Edwards. I've been telling people this for a year, except for Dejon, except for the Branson part. Kendall Milton and Kenny McIntosh have nothing on Dejon and Branson, bro. I, and why are you bringing them out of the game? Keep them in. Oh, God. Now they're going to hand it to Kendall Milton. He's going to fumble it. Watch this. Kenny McIntosh back there. Watch it. He's going to get two yards. Watch. Kenny McIntosh needs to be a slot receiver. And I don't understand why he's not being converted to a slot receiver. That's all we do is throw to him. I mean, come on. Let's see if we can score right here. Yep, we're going to hand it to Ken Kenny McIntosh. Kenny Mack, uh, he lays the boom ball at the one, maybe one yard line. Kenny McIntosh does have a rushing touchdown, though. Miracle. Uh, Georgia dancing at the goal line right now. Dancing. Uh, he does, the football does touch the pylon, but was he out of bounds? Did he step out of bounds? The camera angles kind of doo doo. I think that's a touchdown, honestly. I think he was still in bounds, and his the ball in his elbow hit the pylon. They might review this. I don't know. No, they're not going to review it. They're going to line up at the one-yard line, second and goal. I uh, don't know who's in it. I think it's Kendall Milton in the backfield. Stetson under center. Uh, uh, stop and play. they they probably going to review this call. I mean, his the football touches the pylon. Football touches the pylon. <clears throat> which uh, is a touchdown uh, according to the law of football. However, did he step out? I can't get an angle where I can see his foot. The angle, let's see, does he step out of bounds? Still in. He's in bounds. Okay, his, his arm hits the pylon. That is super. If he would have had the ball in the other arm, that would have been a touchdown. But I don't think it's a touchdown. He stays in bounds. Because he bounces off the Auburn player. And that's what kind of helps him a little bit here. He bounces off the Auburn player. Uh, it's probably going to stay at the... Man, it's like inches from the, from, from the goal line. Inches. But is he down? They're second to see if he was down. When he, I don't, he might have been down at the two-yard line. I don't know, man. Just... So, uh, yeah, they said he's down at the two-yard line, or maybe that's second to go. He put two. That is on mute. I don't know what this man saying. He just hit me with a deuce and saw it a second down. I think it's second to go. <sighs> Looks like it's second to go, yep, on the one-yard line. Let's see if we can pound it in right here, and I'll get back to my little offense rant. You're a cat. <clears throat> All right. Sets so under center. They now have, I think, Dejon Edwards in the backfield. Brock Bowers moving out. Uh, they're going to hand it to Dejon Edwards. Dejon Edwards, touchdown on Dejon Edwards, the third. Touchdown, Georgia. Dejon, Georgia will go up 14-0 here in the second quarter. Georgia playing much better than they did against Missouri. Now, Auburn is a better team than Missouri by a mile. So, Stetson Bennett still doesn't have a passing touchdown. Um, Stetson Bennett hasn't had a passing touchdown since South Carolina. Look, I understand Georgia's up 14 nothing, and I'm happy about that. I, I'm, I'm enjoying the game. It's going a lot better. Pa Jack Pileson did miss a field goal. The game should be 17 nothing right now. But Pileson did miss a field goal, and he about missed the PAT. Look, Pile I don't know, guys. <clears throat> Stetson Bennett has to get it figured out. He's not throwing down the field. And truthfully, ever since he threw that interception against Kent State, he's been real reluctant to throw downfield or his throws haven't been the best. <coughs> but <coughs> a lot of Georgia plays are at the line of scrimmage, uh, wide outs, uh, sweeps, uh, 
Brock Bowers in motion, McIntosh in motion, McConkie in motion, Jimbo Fisher, anybody in motion. That's what Georgia's offense is. <clears throat> and it's going to catch up to us. Uh, and I hate to be – I, I hate to be the fans that think everything's fine and dandy and then when the game catches up to us. Uh, uh, I, I don't know, man. Tennessee Tennessee is the best team in, in the East. By, I mean, I think they are. I mean, Georgia and Tennessee will have their opportunity to prove who's the best team in the East. Uh, you know, Tennessee, they played a 25th-ranked LSU beat them 40 to 13. I don't know if LSU scored at the end. It might be 40 to 20. I don't know. I think it was 40 to 13 final score for LSU uh, for the Tennessee game. Tennessee now has Alabama next week. Now, Alabama does play Texas A&M this, uh, tonight without Bryce Young. I, now, if Alabama was playing Tennessee the, tonight, I, I would be Tennessee to win that game. Uh, but the, pro the problem is Tennessee's defense is bad. Their passing defense is bad. But LSU's passing offense is just butt cheeks. Like, that's just the best way I can say it. They're not good. You know, LSU, uh, their passing offense, they only had 80 yards passing against Auburn uh, last week. So, guys, I, look, I love this team. I love this Georgia Bulldogs team. I, I, just, I just wish we could find – uh, 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 at least a moderate passing offense downfield because the inevitable is coming. The month of November is going to be harsh for us fans. I mean, I'm nine and three sounds like, you know, nine and three. I'd bet on that. Now the I feel more confident beating Kentucky, uh, Kentucky. I I'm okay with beating them. Mississippi state, you know, LSU blew them out. That's kind of a shocker. Mississippi State can have an on and off day, <clears throat> but uh, you got to have a quarterback that can that can go toe to toe with Hendon Hooker because Tennessee's gonna score unless they face a defense good enough to stop them. Now, if Georgia Georgia's defense, uh, Georgia's defense, if they can stop Hendon Hooker. And Tennessee's offense, and, and and stop them from just scoring at will. Then I think Georgia has a shot. But if I see if I see Tennessee go up fourteen nothing, and, and by the, you know it's still the first quarter, and Tennessee's up fourteen nothing, I'm gonna be worried. And maybe and maybe that's when they make the QB change. But here's the thing: Carson Beck is gonna be the starting quarterback next year. So why not go ahead and get him ready for next year? Stetson Bennett is not coming back. And, yes, Stetson Bennett is mobile. Carson Beck's mobile. I mean, I just hope we can – I just hope we can – I would love to finish the year 12-0. and 0. This team, uh, I think – what is it, a miraculous catch? Man, so lucky. But, anyway, <clears throat> uh, Georgia can be go undefeated with Carson Beck, and that's just facts. Uh, facts. Did he catch the ball? Went through this guy. Went through this guy's hands. And number twenty-five caught. Did he catch it? He pulls it in. Yeah, I mean, he has to catch. He put his arm under the ball. That's a lucky, lucky catch, man. What a luck of the Auburn Tigers. Let's see here. First and ten. Ashford steps back. Ashford looks like he's about to go deep. He can't retracts. He's getting. He's on his feet, running. Uh, he runs out of bounds. Short. There's a flag down. Auburn's had about 17 flags in this game uh, for the Gumps. Let me plug my phone up before it dies. I'm recording this video. <coughs> hey, uh, is it holding? Another hold Auburn's had about six holding calls. That's okay. They got a hold. They, they can't. That's why Jordan ain't got no sacks, because they keep holding us. Well... See what happens with the dogs. Hopefully everything works out, guys. Uh, hopefully win the game. Peace out. Go dogs. Be safe.